Alrighty. Well, uh, I apologize to you guys. Um, <laughs> I guess what we're going to do is take a look at that uh, lab I posted on day two. The um, um, lab one, if you will, um, with the amplifier. So, taking a look at it. Here's what we have, right? Uh, this is figure one. I was going through figure two, and it seems kind of complicated, but I guess if we just go and set up um, figure one here, and we notice um, we've got a few key points here. We can look at our outputs, right? So uh, this is the this is the figure with the with the values in. I got a plus 15 DC supply up here, negative 12 going in here. Got an AC inject rate. It's uh, I think it was 20 millivolts. Let's check. Uh, oop, don't want that. That's the current that we're viewing here. But what I want to see is. Yeah, see, so there's your input signal um, versus the current. Um, yeah, let's turn that up. But let's take a look at this point, right? If we run that. We'll see. Okay, so like the green signal is our input, right? And the orange one is our output. So if we were putting in um, millivolts, and then we can see we're getting out like roughly, you know, four volts peak to peak here by the orange. You can also compare and contrast, pick different points, show your waveforms on the outputs. Like, okay, there, right? That's a Pretty much a negative DC, which is what we would expect. But yeah, you can you can pop around your circuit, see how it even has like little little weird symbols like that, right? We can show those, and you can actually see what your signals are before and after. I mean, essentially, if you look at the blue versus the orange, they're identical signals. The only difference is before the capacitor, we have. Uh, a DC injection and after the capacitor, of course, it it blocks again working like a capacitor. It's blocking the DC and just giving us a pure AC output. So we rewind that, take a look. You can also um, run this and see what your actual this is be your Bode plot right of your output here, and you can see there's several points on this with the where we can look at with the Bode plot. And the ones, of course, of, of interest to us would be the output. But we can compare, and it's like, OK, so there's our initial. Um, but really, we, wanna, we would be more interested in what our overall response is. So you can see, right, where does our, our amplifier here work? Ideally, is in this range and the mid-range being the one kilohertz. and that's essentially it, really. I mean, if, um, I don't know. Figure two seems a little complicated in the setup. I would go, I'm going to start doing these more for all the labs. I guess we'll do like an introduction and I'll go ahead and set it up for us and everything. If you notice, I posted uh, lab two, three, and four further, you know, for further transistor amplifiers. And then we're going to jump into op amps and such and start taking a look at those. But yeah, this is this is essentially what we have going on. And that's how I mean you could if you post your circuit and show what your you know your bony plot is, that would be fine. If you'd rather go through and post like here so you wouldn't transient and show your signal like that. I mean that's how you can check and make sure your signal's working. I mean, if we go back and look, or you take away all the points, it's like, okay. Um, the circuit even tells you, you know, which ones are coming through. We could see, okay, here's our DC running, okay. We could even hook up the voltmeter and see what our corresponding voltages would be DC. And remember, like, these two 
capacitors here. It's like, what's the purpose of those? Well, they're DC blockers. I mean, the one at the source is to prevent any DC going back to our source. And the one on the output is to prevent any DC going through on our output. So this would be considered our load resistor. And this is like our source resistor, so RS and RL. <coughs> And essentially, that's uh, pretty much what I would consider the circuit. So if you give me something like this, right, as your screenshot, you know, show, show me it works and all that, and then show you it works. Um, but if you guys have any questions, I'm sorry, yeah, the weekend, uh, it's very hard for me, but I am home now and everything. So if you have any questions, go ahead and get a hold of me. Um, for lab one, and this is ideally what we're looking at. And like I said, if you want to go through and even look at your your corresponding Bode plots, blue, that's this one. Orange would be this one. If we want to look at even over here in the emitter side, you know, and it shows you the overall responses. And of course, the order and the input, that's what we have, right? But that would be what you would ideally be looking for as far as like a overall response of your circuit. And this would be like the before and after. Notice that really there isn't much of a variation from uh, before the capacitor and after. I mean, there is, of course, the capacitor does take a factory. Right? And then compare that, it's like there's a sharp group for that. Shows you the higher value of the 470, what that does. but. Yeah, that's essentially what I have. Um, and there we go. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.